Trap Garage coming to you with a tools that don't suck video. So I don't do these super often uh, as I only like to do them when I have tools that are unusual, uh, something that's maybe handy that I just found, uh, or it's a tool that I'm using that I think people may not understand what, why you would want to have it or the value in having it. And if I have a good opportunity to show the tool off in a, an area where it helps me, uh, I think it'll helpfully help you guys or maybe give you guys another tool to put in your toolbox for your arsenal. So what I've been working on in this T video, anybody that's been following along this build, uh, this car started off as a touring body, a three door touring, four seater car. We took out the center section, slid it together, turned it into a roadster uh, and made it sort of look OEM if you will uh, and hot rodded. Uh, but the car was a car that was kind of slapped together for a museum uh, display and they basically just fiberglassed and body filled over the rot uh, and the pitting in the metal and any body damage they just put fiberglass and filler right over it. So uh, as I've been trying to make this car nicer, uh, I've been finding that there is a lot of like really damaged panels. This back panel I've been avoiding pretty much the whole entire project and we're down to the wire where we're about to do body work and I need to address it. So I've welded in new lower corners on either side uh, that are restyled as well as a back panel that is also restyled to match uh, how the frame sits around the body and also make it look a little smoother and uh, not just like a hole cut in the rear panel for the torque tube. Uh, but what I found in a video or two ago, uh, I was getting this all welded in and I started sanding and I found that there was damage that where something kind of, not punctured, but sharp object smashed into the back of the panel and they just filled over top of that. Uh, what that created was it created some issues with oil canning, it created uh, issues with uh, damage that kind of happened from around that damage occurring and uh, I did a video recently where I showed kind of straightening it out and getting rid of the major stretched uh, areas of the panel so that it's tight again so it's not popping on us. And now I am trying to smooth out the metal to the point where we're not using a ton of body filler. This car is not going to be perfectly metal finished. Uh, that's kind of at the height of my skill level and honestly for having fun drivable hot rods it's not something that is uh, I feel is necessary for this car. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is just get it better than just average, I'd say. So I'm trying to make the uh, body work just a little bit better. So I'm trying to get rid of major high spots, get rid of some low spots. And a uh, tool that helps big time with this, tools, is using body files and slapping files. Now I think the slapping files are probably the ones that are, uh, this is a similar tool like the shrinking disc where it is something that uh, some guys swear by, but a lot of people don't know if it's snake oil or if it actually works. Uh, the body files are kind of a simple concept. It's just a rasp or file uh, that you use to go across the metal. Uh, this is generally, uh, traditionally used a lot with lead working in the old days. Uh, this was what you used to knock your lead down after you lead it in a panel uh, because you don't want to sand it, send particles in the air. Uh, but it also is good for uh, lightly hitting panels to uh, show you or highlight uh, high spots or low spots. So what I like to use these for, there, there's a few different shapes. Uh, all these tools you can get at Eastwood, we'll drop the links down below. Um, and uh, for anybody that's just catching just this video, I do work for Eastwood, but this is not like a promotional video that I'm trying to push a tool that doesn't work. This is real stuff, anyone who watches my channel knows I only push products that I use regularly so these are tools that I've been using for quite a while and are handy so there are three of these uh, files there's a flat a half round and a full round that uh, the Eastwood offers if you guys are into the vintage tool thing like I am as well uh, you can find some of the funny shapes that they made back in the day when leading was more popular there are some like uh, half moon shaped ones you can get in around real tight curves there's, there's all different shapes that have different curves to them uh, those are getting pretty hard to find, but they are out there if you guys hunt the swap meets, the state auctions, uh, tool auctions, all that stuff. You can find them from time to time. Uh, but these are the ones that are most handy. So I use these to highlight areas and try and uh, just highlight any areas that are high or need uh, correction because this file will really quickly uh, hit those areas and will highlight them to tell us where the damage is. Uh, so that's really handy. So we're going to be using 
the one here that's pretty much a flat file for this panel because the panel has some curve to it but it's not like fully uh, it doesn't have a crazy curve to it so what you can do is just lightly run across the panel So, there's a joke, the file doesn't lie. Uh, a body file will make you uh, as sad as it gets or it will make you as humble as it gets when using a body file because it does not lie. It will run across the panel and show you every imperfection. Even when you think your body work or your metal work is perfect, it can make you really sad. Sometimes I avoid it because it, it can make me just go crazy. But on a panel like this that's that started out really rough and trying to get it a little better, you can see really quickly how it highlighted these areas that are high, that are, that are uh, I guess you could say high or areas that are low. So anywhere that it touched really quickly, I wasn't putting a lot of pressure on the panel. Those are areas that are either high or the areas that are not hit are low. You have to kind of determine that by looking at the panel and see what's going on on what areas are low, what areas are high, and use your judgment obviously by looking down the panel. I know from messing with this that these areas are low that are in here because I've been working on this panel a little bit and I've been trying to slowly make these like creases or, or high spots slowly go away. Uh, so I've been kind of fighting this whole entire area where there was damage. There was some real deep hits right around here, here. I think there was four of them, probably here, here, somewhere in here. And I heat shrunk those to get the panel from flopping around and, and oil canning really bad. Used the, the shrinking disc and kind of got it under control. Now we can kind of body work it like normal. So that's what I use the file for. This will quickly highlight and tell you. I have some um, machinist dye on here. You can use guide coat. Uh, you can just use a plain spray paint if you'd like. Guide coat and the machinist dye are nice because they dry pretty quickly. So if you spray them on, uh, even with my shop being about 60 in the winter time, uh, it, is, uh, it still dries pretty quickly. So that will quickly show you where the highs and lows are. Now what I do is you can use a slapping file. So if we know that these areas are high and they need to be kind of shrunk down, this is the same idea as a shrinking disc where you're running over the panel, it will touch the high spots, it will, it will just barely heat them and shrink them. This, the idea is that these little uh, abraded areas on here will, as you hit them, it will gather the metal just a little bit. And as you slap it using a dolly, it will kind of Number one, it'll highlight those areas so you can use it uh, in addition to that file and it'll highlight those areas and as you slap you will see that the textured mark will kind of show you what's going on and then ever so slightly it will gather the metal and kind of shrink up these areas to help flatten it out. So there's a, there's a coarse and there's a fine. Uh, I don't really have a good suggestion on which one is better or when to use it. Uh, I might not be educated enough, I'm not sure, but uh, I use I use both. I usually use the fine because it leaves less aggressive marks in the panel and uh, that's a little easier to sand out when you're done. This one leaves some pretty coarse marks in the panel and depending how nice you're making the metal work or how uh, much OCD you have, this may be hard to get the marks out without really sanding on the panel. So. I use the, uh, the fine one quite often. If I'm doing something I'm really roughing in, I will use the, the rough one. So what you want to do is get your dolly that matches the shape or profile of what you're uh, working on. Uh, this panel is, like I said, it, it's curved, but it's, it's relatively flat. It doesn't change a lot uh, over a short distance. So I can use a dolly that's basically flat uh, here. It's just a standard standard dolly that you all probably have. And what I do is I hold this behind the panel over the areas that are uh, low and high that I want to smooth out. And you kind of use this like you would use a slapping spoon where you're going to be hitting a large area and what you're trying to do is kind of iron that out. I don't like using a body hammer for this because you're actually striking in such a small area you can uh, run the risk of stretching the metal. So by using these body files, these, uh, or I'm um, sorry, the uh, Slapping files, you can slap, it will gather the metal, it will smooth the metal, and it will also highlight and give you an idea of what's going on because as 
it starts to abrade this low area here, you will know that you're getting closer as the marks start showing up on there. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll reposition the camera. We use the slapping file a little bit to show you guys how I can smooth out this area and you'll see how it will slowly start uh, scratching off the, uh, the paint here in these low areas and kind of smoothing everything out. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, a little close-up of what I was doing there. I just did a little bit of slapping, so this area here is where I'm kind of working on. And if I can get the camera to focus there, you guys can see there's little tiny marks. They're not real crazy. Actually, on this car, the pitting is pretty substantial that the, the marks are probably no deeper or less, uh, nearly as deep as the pitting in the metal, but hey, we're doing what we can with junk. So uh, there's little tiny marks. If I have, wouldn't have filed it with the file, it'd probably show up a little better on the camera. Uh, I think there's some, Let's see if I can zoom in here smoothly. I think right there you could see those little cross hatches are real tiny. Uh, like I said, I like using the fine because it doesn't leave as deep or as aggressive of those cross hatches. But what it's doing is it's it's kind of highlighting those areas, it's smoothing it out, and it also takes the paint out. At the the paint takes the paint off at the same time, so you know you're getting it smoother, and it's a good workout too. <laughs> so it's uh, it's a lot of work, but these things do work really well. You can kind of smooth, highlight, shrink, all kind of does everything at once. You just gotta swing and keep your eyes on the damage to get it all straightened out. So I got a lot of work here to do to get this all straightened out. Got to get all the major highs and lows out and then I can kind of go back over it with the planishing hammer and uh, get everything set and a lot smoother. All right, so that's the, uh, the slapping files and the body files. Those are really, really handy with getting out uh, high spots in a panel and they are something I use quite often uh, when I'm doing work like I was doing on the back panel of the T. It is a lifesaver and it's definitely something you need to add to your toolbox and they do not suck. Uh, to get these tools, you can check the links down in the video uh, description down below and uh, you can get those on the Eastwood website and buy them. Uh, like I said, you can also find some of the odd shaped ones if you scour swap meets and estate sales. You can find some of the odd shaped uh, body files as well. Thanks guys for watching, catch you later.